Hi everyone. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna jump on my page real quick and share this. Over to my main mall. I hope you are having a great day. Be patient with me today. I'm on Shark Week, so I'm kind of moody and I don't know, I have an attitude today apparently. It's just me in general right now, so so sorry if whatever. But um anyway, I'm not feeling the best, so let's make myself feel a little better with some makeup. Hi Kristen. So I'm going to share this real quick and we'll get started. I'm gonna brush out my hair some because my hair needs it. I make sure it's shared. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, it did. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I hope you are having a great day. Um, I'm excited to announce that the glitter glosses are back in stock. So if anybody wants to grab those, grab them while you can. Because I'm sure they'll sell out fast. again. I'm going to spray a little bit of this in my hair. This is just conditioner and water mixed in a bottle. And we're just going to go and brush through my hair a little more. I'm going to put my rose clips in. So they're out of my face. I hope you all are doing well. I look crazy, but it's okay though. I'm okay with that. So yeah, um, it's been crazy. I'm going to try and skid up just a little bit so I can fully see your guys' comments because... I don't got my glasses on, so I can't fully see your comments. So, bear with me. We're going to scoot my... Hold on. We're going to scoot my ring light up a little more. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, today... So, again, our glasses are back in stock. The whole box is in stock and them separately. So all those gorgeous glosses are in stock again for now until they sell out again, which I'm sure they will. Like, it's not that hard to sell out because they're gorgeous and it makes sense to me. Okay. So. Alright, so for face, I'm going to put the moisturizer on. This is the uh, Strobe Primer Moisturizer. I don't want to be up against my desk for that. Seriously? Go away. Huh. Emily kills ants. <laughs> um, hi, Lisa. Guys, it's crazy. It is definitely a very hot day and everything. Freaking ants. You know, it's ant season, so of course... There's freaking ants around my desk and around everything. So I'm just careful and I freaking kill them. <laughs> so if I see them and you hear me smacking something, it's my desk or it's something else of mine. And it's me killing ants because I hate ants. Um, I think what we're going to do is I think I don't know I think we're going to sorry one second
One second, you guys. So I have two admins in my page. So if um, there's Autumn, there she is. She's one of them. And then I have another one who is Destiny. She's my other one. So I have two admins that if you see them answer your question or something, they're my admins and they're very helpful. Yep, that is my website. You can hold down on it and it'll pin. That's how you can pin them. It'll pop up or whatever it was. <sighs> so yeah. Um, we have two admins in this page now. I made a post about it and they messaged, or well, they reached out to me. So I have two admins in here now. Yeah, Autumn, all you have to do is hold down on it and click pin. It'll be like pin comment or delete. So, and you should be able to pin it. It should let you. Are you sure it doesn't say pin? Hold on. Maybe I'll be able to do it. Hold on. All right, I'll pin your comment. There we go. There we go. I pinned the comment. Maybe it won't let you. I don't know. That's weird. It should let you, but I didn't know. That's odd. It's okay, though. I pinned it, so thank you for commenting it, though. Okay. And again, these, uh, when it comes to my admins, they are new to this. So they are definitely learn as they go. Hi, Jessica. It only says delete comment. It might be Facebook. Yeah, it's probably Facebook. How am I doing? I'm doing good. Okay. One second, you guys. There's five more in the freezer. I got a box. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's very helpful. Very, very nice. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing good. You guys, I'm sorry. I have to eat in front of you real quick because my sugar, like, literally just dropped. That <laughs> sounds good, yeah. Mmm. It is a Snicker ice cream bar. I'm sorry I'm eating from you. My sugar dropped. I apologize to whoever is now craving this freaking ice cream. But. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you do. I'm only saying this because literally I had somebody message me and tell me I was very rude when I was eating, I think it was like goldfish or something on my live. They're like, uh, we came there to watch makeup, not you sitting there eating. I'm like, well, excuse me. <laughs> Having a strawberry banana smoothie. Oh, that sounds good. Other than the banana part. I don't like bananas, but that sounds good though, Jessica. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, you guys, if I haven't been on here where... I've been telling you guys, but William got a job at Walmart. Because you guys were asking me about when uh, he got let off or laid off and everything over at the other job. So I wanted to give you guys kind of an update. He is working now. If you're alive, you can do what you want, girl. Oh, I know. I just thought it was funny that the girl was like, I came to watch makeup, not you sitting there eating. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> sorry. Like, sorry, not sorry. My sugar dropped, you know. It happens. <laughs> Especially.
actually, I'm on Shark Week, so that's even worse for me. My sugar drops like that on Shark Week. It, it's worse on Shark Week. If you are hypoglycemic and you have like Shark Week or whatever it was, say amen if you know what I mean by it drops even faster. <laughs> Because it seriously is the worst. Like, during regular weeks and stuff, it's perfectly like, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. But when I'm on Shark Week, it's the worst. Because it will just drop out of nowhere. And I will have no idea. My brother-in-law was very nice, though. He went and got me this, and then he apparently got me five more that are in the freezer for me. Yeah, it's a box of six. Yeah, he got a box of six. It's also cookie and cream ice cream, too. Yeah, I don't really care for that one. Oh my god. It's just ice cream. I don't know what you're going through, girl, but I'm here for you. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Um, Shark Week is my code for period. That's what my code is. That is what I say. I say Shark Week instead of my period. I don't know why, I just do. Other people use that exact phrase for theirs? No, I started using it because of Mary. Yeah. That's what I mean. Mary said something about Shark Week is kind of like that. So then next thing I know, I started saying Shark Week. Sounds about right, though. <laughs> Those ice creams are good, yeah. Yes, you agree? Yeah. By the way, you guys, I was actually shocked. So, I was watching, I'm trying to bake. I think I'm going to use this. I think we're going to use the cream foundation today so we can use this foundation brush. You wish you could eat ice cream? Why can't you eat ice cream? Lactose intolerant. Yeah, are you lactose intolerant or something? Precious. Put that. So we're gonna be using this brush. I have actually three of them. They're in different sizes, so we're trying out them Precious. today. We'll see if they work. I'm gonna do that's awesome, but you know. It was a three pack at Walmart and they are by Echo Tools. Oh, you can't see that. They're by Echo Tools. And they look really nice, and they are like almost like a kabuki brush, but a little more like denser. Severely sensitive teeth. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, we already put the primer on. We're going to be putting the cream foundation. I did order a brand new one, and it is here, and it's sitting in my... It's sitting in my drawer. What the heck? Evelyn, did you stick pens in my... She stuck pens in my drawer. <laughs> Not where those go. I think she stuck them in here to be funny when she was over at my desk earlier. Okay. So we're going to see if this works. So we're going to take it and go ooh, and swirl it. Ooh. Look at that. I actually, for a second, didn't think it picked up the product. Ooh, I think this is gonna be my new favorite thing when it comes to a brush. Oh, yes. Heck yes. I'm waiting for my package to come on the 28th. So exciting. Cool. Did you order a bunch of stuff? Excuse me. Sorry. Can you show your setup? Um, in a minute. Yes, I will show you my setup in a minute. 
Let me get the foundation on and then I'll show you guys my setup. Because I'll have to take you off my uh, ring, uh, my, yeah, off my ring light to show you guys. Because it's a big desk. So, um, people are asking me, they ask me all the time, like, where did you get the desk? Okay. It was my husband's. Um, it was his work desk from work. And it's heavy. Like, really, really heavy. Like, the guys hate moving this. And they've moved it, what, three times? <laughs> yeah, three times. What's in the house? The next to the strange location. Look at that. You see the redness here? I always get redness, so ignore it. But all this redness, look at that. It covers it right up. I was going to use the color corrector, but I was like, eh. I want to use this because a lot of people have been asking me about it. So I'm like, eh, we'll use this. This is literally, honestly, I can't pick what is my favorite, but this is definitely one of them. Because I love this because it is a cream to a powder. Because it is a very pretty cream foundation that dries to a powder. And this is the one I took to Florida, and I hit pan on it, and then I ordered a brand new one. Yes, I ordered a lot of stuff. That's a good cover. Oh, yeah. Okay. This brush is fantastic. I like this. We're going to see how the smaller one works for concealer because it says the smaller one you could totally use um, for concealer. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this as much either because it's in a compact and like a lot of people are like eh, iffy on it. But I love this. I really do. Like it's so good. All right, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I need to blend that. <laughs> is Creamy Love, yes. It's a very creamy foundation that dries to a powder. Which is awesome. Like, oh, so pretty. I love it. It dries so nicely. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit. I'm going to get on my neck. So. Okay. So there's that. Now, you can put setting powder on it, but I usually, like, I just wait till it fully dries and just kind of leave it. If you want to put setting powder, go right ahead, but I'm not going to. Alright, we're going to leave it. Your nose, love, you messed a spot, letting you know. Did I? See, this is what happens when I don't have a mirror in front of me. Let's put my one mirror in front of me here. Oh, I sure did. Thanks, girly. Yeah, and it's the one spot that I, like, have a scab on top of. That's funny. Of course, I missed that spot that, you know, I wanted to cover up anyway. There we go. Is that better? Is that better? Okay. Now that we have a mirror in front of me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure this is blended. Because apparently I'm missing a spot area. I think. I think I'm going to set it with a powder just the way because I want to mattify it. You got my back? Yeah. Okay. Let's 
going with a fluffy brush. Yeah, a fluffy brush. And we're just going on this side. We're not going to go under the eyes fully yet because I still have to put my concealer on. Okay. I've been loving the stick concealer. So good, you guys. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look down a little bit. Because I'm going to watch what I'm doing here. I'm not wearing a lot of concealer, but... Definitely very brightening under the eyes. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to take that little brush... And we're going to blend this out without spraying anything. We're just going to kind of blend it out. I'm going to pick my mirror up here. And go through here. Now, I do have a blender to try out, too, but I figure I'd try out the brushes today. Can't wait to get my concealer stick. So excited to get my stuff. Yes, you'll probably love it. Especially, they recommend the concealer stick for any, like, dry skin. Because it's really, really good for dry skin. But And then they recommend the liquid for oily. I don't know if I like the concealer stick with this foundation though. I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure it out after I put the uh, setting powder. I don't know if I feel like I like it with this foundation specifically though. We'll see. You have, oh, com, com, combination skin? Oh, yeah, that should work for you. That should still work. Okay, I don't think I'm a fan of it with this foundation specifically. Just because it's already cream foundation to a powder. I feel like maybe this is a little, no. <laughs> Little not for, not for this specific foundation. That was a little bit of a fail for me, but that's okay. It happens. You'll learn what works for it. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of this concealer with this foundation specifically. I'm not liking how it looks. Hmm. Yeah, like it kind of messed it up. Yeah, good to know. Mm -hmm. I like learning the different stuff. I don't, I don't like it. Don't like that right now. That's kind of driving me nuts. Okay. Um, we are going to put, let's see, what can we use? Um, where's my CC cream? We'll do a little bit of CC cream under. Um, I don't wear the stay matte because I don't have dry skin. And, or I have, oh my gosh. I have dry skin, not oily. So, I have not really tried. Okay, let me try and see if this brush will work with this too. Um, I've not really tried the stay matte with, okay, we're going to do a blender because I can already tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to like this brush with this liquid concealer. 
So we're going to try this little blender. Um, I don't really like the Stay Matte for my skin because I've not really tried it on my face, but I don't plan on it because it's mostly for oily and it's not really for dry. I mean, uh, you could test it out with like a moisturizing, hydrating primer um, under it. Yeah, Jessica loves it. I have Anya who loves it. She swears by it. Um, but I am just dry skin, so I don't recommend it really um, for like dry skin. Unless you are, um, like I said, hydrating primer might work for you. Love the blender. Oh, yeah, this is the Echo Tools blender. Like it better wet. Oh, yeah. See, I feel like when you use, like, a blender that's wet, I feel like it just kind of... I don't know, soaks the product a little too much. So, I don't know. I'm trying it out dry. We'll see. I already like how my under eyes now look. Um, using the CC cream instead of the stick concealer with this foundation particularly. I love the stick concealer, but I do not like it with this foundation. Because I feel like it does look a little, like caked on on the cream foundation on the liquids it's really nice but definitely not on the cream one i don't like stain matte much yeah a lot of people do though who have oily i'm dry skin luminous serum still my fave yeah yeah, I love, like I said, I love this cream foundation. That's so much better. I feel better about that now. Now that I use the CC cream under my eyes. Um, and I um, love the Luminous. And VFX is really good too. Even for like, it's for all skin type, but it's so good also for dry skin. It doesn't dry me out or anything. And I don't mind it being matte. Oh, you haven't tried it yet, Jessica? It's so good. It's so good. I love that one. Purple primer from the Stay Matte. Is that a good combination? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, because um, the purple is a moisturizing. It gives a nice, shiny, pretty glow. Well, you can see that right there. You can still see it through my foundation right now. But um, it is a purpley, iridescent kind of glow. Um, and it is moisturizing. It's basically a moisturizer and a primer um, together. And it gives that gorgeous glow. So, yeah, that's a good one. If you have dry skin and stuff, I would go with the purple. And then do the Stay Matte Foundation if you are interested in trying the Stay Matte. Um, if you are, like I said... I don't fully recommend it, but I do know there are a lot of pharmacy girls that have dry skin, use the moisturizing primer under it, and say it's phenomenal still for them. So, yeah, so do I. I love both of them. But my absolute favorite, honestly, for me is the strobe because I love that glow and I love that it is moisturizing. And I did, I showed you guys before, but I do love this Age Reversant Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's so good. So I just didn't want to put it on today because I used the moisturizing primer to show you guys. So, Okay, now let me look at my face again. Yeah, I feel like that stick concealer really just kind of like, ugh messed up just a tiny tiny bit so glad i went back under with the um cc cream because i feel like it just made it a tiny bit patchy and stuff when the concealer stick was on it but they both are cream so honestly there could have been that little difference too is 
It could have been a cream on top of a cream, so it kind of made it a little patchy. I need to try that one. Oh, the cream foundation? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Thought I just killed it. Gosh darn it. I threw it somewhere. Like I said, if you hear a bam on my table or something, again, it's... Precious, get out! One second. Precious! Come here! Go lay down! Now! William, you might want to go check kitchen and laundry room because she just ran off again. She keeps running off when you leave. You need to try that one. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in. I keep on wanting to go in the freaking cream, uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm like, no, no, no. You need to do brows first. All right. So I've been loving, okay, we are going to test something with this. I've been loving using this for my brows. So this is the um, Brow Design Eyebrow Mascara. And this is, it just makes it so natural. It's so nice. Okay. So I'm going to take my mirror. Now, if you feel like you want to fill them in, then fill them in with a little bit of the uh, powder and you're good. I don't have dogs because I have kids. <laughs> yeah, I don't have kids and I have dogs. That's the way mine is. My dogs are my kids. So if you do put a little pressure on it, you definitely can get a better coverage with it if you have tried you try this and then you're like oh it's too natural for me um give it a little pressure and look at that you'll have a nice coating of it of um pigment precious get down <sighs> go lay down or go to william one or the two now she's on my table again she doesn't stop doing that I don't know why do you guys do you guys have dogs that jump on your freaking table love the gel brow I use the clear put it after my pomade and powder oh yeah yeah I haven't tried that one yet I wanted the tinted so, and like I said, we're going to test this out and use it, um, hi Brandy, we're going to use it as something else too. We're going to test something out. That was so weird. Well, of course it's like that. I don't know. That's weird. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I just noticed like on my eye because I put the foundation on it. It did like, it like didn't get this little area. So it looks like a line on my eye. What's clip on your hair? Oh, they're just hair clips. I just have them in my hair. So that way I can keep my hair out of my face. See, look at that. That is a nice, um, nice pigment to it. All right, we're going to darken up this one a little bit. See, look at that. I really like that. By the way, what shows have you guys been watching? I started watching Listen to Your Heart. You know, Chris Harrison runs it, just like Bachelor and stuff. 
I've been watching that. Then I watch Greek. And um, I've been watching, what else? I've been watching Gilmore Girls. And what else? I've been watching a couple of different ones. Okay. So yesterday was actually to do black makeup. And I didn't do black makeup yesterday, unfortunately. Because I got so sidetracked on helping people, shade matching, all that all that stuff. So, I didn't do my makeup live yesterday because of that. I got caught up with messages and um, I was just working my business like crazy. So, you watch the Fosters? Oh, yes, I have. But I feel like I missed some episodes. So, I think I need to go back and look. Because I need to watch the rest of those. Because I know I watched a lot of them but i feel like i need to go back and uh watch the few that i have missed because i know i've missed some i like lost track of it for some reason i don't know why probably because i was too busy watching like originals and vampire Diaries again with tino so probably which by the way that whole situation is kind of taken care of so if y'all have been wondering, that situation has been taken care of. Um, Dad hates Gilmore Girls. It's because they talk too fast. Oh, I love Gilmore Girls. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it is so good about, like, mother and daughter and everything. I love it because me and my mom are very close, kind of like Gilmore Girls. And Lorelai on there reminds me of, like, my mom. So, I've told her that before, too. Like, she's the one who actually got me started, and we watch Gilmore Girls together. So, anytime I watch it, I think about, like, how me and my mom used to sit in the couch and stuff, and sit on the couch, and we'd watch Gilmore Girls, and, um, like, we have that kind of relationship, basically. Kind of. <laughs> There are some times when we don't, but we have that kind of relationship. So, it kind of reminds me just of that kind of stuff. Oh, shoot. I was going to do something. Y'all, I got sidetracked. So, I'm going to use the CC cream um, and here. This is Terry's way. She told me to get on here, and I was going to do that. So, but can't watch it around him and <laughs> give him nuts. Oh, yeah, drives him nuts. Okay, so I'm going to, this is going to be hard to do, but we're just going to dip in from on my, so. I forgot to do this. That's okay. I'm going to do it on the other side too, so. So this is I Say Terry's Way. She was doing this on her live and I was like, oh, it's Terry's Way. She's like, oh my gosh, are you going to say that? I'm like, yes, I am. So I totally forgot about it because I'm talking so much. Is CC cream like BB cream? Um, Yes, except for CC cream is a, um, is a color corrector and BB cream is more of like a moisturizer and um, foundational in one and skincare. Uh, Kasha? No, no, no. To Kasha. My daughter. Okay. Oh. Different state, I mean. Different state. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, CC, CC cream is color corrector, so if you have a lot of redness and stuff, you definitely want to use, um, CC cream. He he, it works. I ran out of tape. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it works, so. I even told you I was gonna say it's the, it's the, um, Terry's way. Kasha, lay down. Yeah, 
because it really works. Look at that. Ignore this one because it's kind of messed up, but we'll fix it. There we go, that's fixed. Cannot wait. Pharmacy. Can't wait pharmacy. Oh, come to Canada. Yeah, I know, me too. I have so many freaking people that wanna sign up from Canada and the UK. It works, I ran out, oh yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, we're gonna really darken this up. Even though today is not the black look, today is the red look, we're still going to use black to go with the red. And then we're gonna test out, no, 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 not that one. We're gonna test out Wild Rose. From pharmacy, we're gonna try out this one. I haven't tried this one yet. So we're gonna use that on the lips today. We're gonna start a trend. Yes, we are, girl. Well, you are because it's your thing. But yes, we're gonna definitely make this a trend. Because then you can just use your, whatever you have, use the tip of it, bam. Don't need no card. Don't need no tape. So you're not like sticking on your face. There you go. Look at that. Okay, let me deepen this back up. Deepen you back up. Yeah, I'm gonna start using that all the time now. Okay. So there's that. Lay down, precious. So we are going to use Red Glaze Cream Shadow. We're also going to use this Wet n Wild Fantasy Maker. This is a new one that came out. And this one is called Rage Machine, which works for me. We're gonna also put that one on today and try it out. Um, and I think we're gonna use Red Love with this one. Or no, 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 we're gonna use a lip liner. I forgot, I have a red lip liner. We'll do red lip liner. The heck? Oh, there it goes. I was like, why is that not working? Yeah, we have 207 is the red we're going to use with uh, this one. Okay. So let's go in with a little bit of red glaze. Y'all notice I don't use that one too much. I haven't actually, which is funny. I need a meal, so we're gonna use the little mirror here. And we're gonna put that all over the lid. Of course I got it right there. And I go little by little, that's how I do this. We're actually gonna use, I think, a gold. I think we're gonna use golden shot. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use golden shot in the inner corner today. All right, so we're gonna go back in. I put that mirror down, my bad. So we're gonna take this red glaze cream shadow
All right, there's that. The excess will go on my on my hand. Then we are also going to go in a little bit, a little bit with the silver that's in there. And put that in the transition. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of a blending brush. Blend that out a little bit. Then we are going to use a little bit of that golden shot. I'm gonna put in the inner corner. Has not been used yet, but I know this is pretty. I have, of course, you know, swatched it a little bit, but haven't actually used it on the face yet. So that's pretty. I might go back in with a little bit of the highlighter, the lighter one, to go on top of that. But kind of set it and then also brighten it up a little more. Okay. There's Golden Shot. We're going to take the middle shade in this highlight palette to kind of brighten up in that area on top of the Golden Shot. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like that combo. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with this liquid lipstick, or not liquid lipstick, oh my gosh. Liquid Shadow from Wet n Wild. Walmart just had like a display and I, or, or I grabbed like a bunch, but we're gonna see how this looks um, right in the middle here. Kind of very similar, almost. Almost. It's a little deeper than the um, cream shadow, just a little bit. I feel like I'm gonna go back in with the glaze though. And go in with a different one. On. See? Yeah, that's the one I want. Cause I'm curious on it. Okay, we're gonna go back in with that red glaze cream shadow. Right on top of that. Yeah, it's kind of similar, but it's a little, like, lighter than that one. Okay, now we're going to go back in. Except for we're going to go with this one. This one is like a champagne glitter one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty, right in the middle. I like that. Be careful not to get that glitter on your lash though. It'll stay there. Hi Victoria. Okay. Now to go in. 
with a lippy. Well, first of all, we're going to go in. So I want to test this out. So what we're going to do is take the Brow Design Eyebrow Mascara. It says mascara. So we're going to use it as a mascara today because this is a brown. And I want to test how this is going to work on the lashes. Because I have pretty much brown eyelashes because they match my hair. And I just want to kind of test this to see what it does um, as a mascara. Oh yeah, you could definitely get this to work. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it definitely works. And it makes sense because, like I said, it's an eyebrow mascara. So, why not try and test it as a mascara? Especially for my people who want, like, a brown. Which I hope we come out with, but... For now, and I've not seen anybody use this as a mascara. I just, I kind of looked at it, went, hmm, I thought about it, and went, I wonder if that would be a good, like, use of a mascara, you know? Because it is a brown mascara, so why not use on the lashes? We'll see what it does for the bottom ones, too. Definitely does a little something, though. Definitely go like this, though, through your lashes. Because I feel like that is a really good... way to get the color on your lashes okay so we're going to test out the bottom lashes so you can kind of see also oh my gosh yes yes you can definitely use this as a mascara that's awesome because i love a brown i mean i'm good with black but Sometimes you just want to look a little more neutral. Mm-hmm. That looks awesome. I like that. All right, we're going to do one more little coat. On the tips. Oh, yes. I love that. Okay, that's awesome. Definitely going to want to order more of these and use those as mascara. Okay. Why is my ears? My ears are freaking irritated for some reason. I don't know why. They've been doing that for a couple of days now. I don't know why. Mm, don't like it. Okay. I don't know why, though. <sighs> I don't know why they're red. I don't know why they're being weird. I have no idea. There's nothing I had on them, so I don't know. Oh, my freaking skin is just annoying. Okay, so let's go in with the lip conditioner. Because now I love this stuff. I will be so happy. When this is fully out. Because. I have a brand, brand new one to use. That's sitting over here. And I'm not going to open it until that one's fully out. 
Love her lip conditioner, though. All right, we're going to go with this lip pencil. I can't talk. Lip pencil in 207. You guys see how creamy that is? That was just a lip pencil. All right, so there's the lip pencil. Now we're gonna go over with the liquid lipstick. This is the first time me trying this out. We'll see if I like the color. All right, ready? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think that's the winner. Hi, Kayla. Which lip liner is that? It is... Where'd it go? It is 207. 207 was the lip liner. Not been feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I really like this liquid lipstick, though. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, like it. Okay. And that was 103 in liquid lipstick, and it was Wild Rose. I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay. Yeah, I realized we didn't even put eye primer on my lid, did we? Oh, I'm a goof. It happens though. Okay. Let's go in with a lip or eyeliner. What am I thinking? I don't know. Let's go in with the eyeliner. And we're gonna use that that way again. So we're gonna test this out. We're gonna see if this works. Kind of. You know what? I think that's the old one. I need to get rid of the old one and freaking only put the new one. Yep, it was the old one. Are you kidding me? explains why the color wasn't coming out correct oh, I need more practice with this crap 
Uh, that was a fail. That was a fail. We're going to just use it with the by hand. interesting I don't think this liner will go over this glitter it's like not wanting to go over the glitter that's weird This look was so pretty until I messed it up. This looks okay, but this one does not. So we're gonna fix that little spot there. We're gonna let that dry. Okay, we're gonna let this dry a little. I'm gonna fix that up in a second. how come this one can look so pretty now and this one can look not so good how does that happen i don't know we're going to fix it though because it's going to drive me crazy if i don't fix it I'm wiping all this freaking foundation off right now. Apparently. I don't mind though. I can always fix it. Oh, I just wiped all that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Y'all, I just threw black back over on top of my stuff. what happens when you don't pay attention it's okay though <laughs> we'll just fix it back up Wow, 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 and wow. All right, let's try this one more time. We're not fixing this if it messes up again.
Okay. That's better. What the heck? How did that just do that? What the heck? <sighs> See, that is annoying for me. Okay, that is the weirdest thing. That like the glitter wants to repel the freaking eyeliner. like behave there we go <sighs> we're only doing it halfway we're not doing it all the way because I'm like we're not fighting this glitter because uh no and I'll let you know if this is like hard to get off too because I have no idea holy crap that's way too much Oh my gosh. Well, there's never enough or never too much glitter, but you know what I mean? Be careful not to get it in your uh, lashes either because it'll stay there. I know that. I've heard that before. Pretty though. That's a lot of glitter though. Holy crap. I did way too much. <laughs> We're going to go back in with that cream shadow just a little bit. Oh yeah, that died it down. We're going to do that. That's better. Now we see the red a little better. Okay. Like, that's crazy. Okay. So we are going to attempt to do something else. Hopefully this doesn't screw up my makeup. But we're going to attempt it. We'll see how it turns out. We're going to do like the tiniest, and I mean tiniest. Little bit of red to do a little blush. Oh yeah, definitely swirl with the brush. Or do the tapping motion like I am. Ooh, I like that. My tablet's charged. Okay. I would work on your schoolwork then. Ooh. It's like... Ooh, ah. Hi, Samantha. That's pretty. That's freaking pretty. Hi, Samantha. Hello, hello. Okay, so we just did a tiny, like, literally, like, dot. The tiniest little bit of liquid lipstick on the cheeks to do a blush. Oh, that just, like, ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, now we got highlight to do. Highlight is essential. Trying out my palettes I got from Spoiled Lips. Ooh, cool, Samantha. Oh, what ones did you order? Because I ordered one last night. 
Um, I'm going to be testing out on the lot whenever I get it. So, well, when did you get? I'm curious. I'm a curious burr. Okay. Oh, I want my highlight brush. This is a Wet n Wild highlight brush. I don't think it's in stock anymore, though. Like the brush. Ha! Oh, blinding to the gods. Yes, please. We're a goddess. We did, um, like I said, we made a, made the blush there. I need to clean this brush. Okay, you got volume 11 and 4. I ordered volume 10 last night to support Anya. I decided to support Anya and stuff, and I ordered um, volume 10. Guys, what do you think of this look? I love this. I think it's really pretty. What y'all think? Let's go. Woo! <laughs> what y'all think? I think that was a lot of glitter. <laughs> I think that was a little too much, but that's okay. We'll see how it performs, though, when we take the makeup off, though, because I don't know. I don't know on that part. A lot of times I have so much issue with getting glitter off is my problem. Because when I told you guys, one second. Why are you attached? Because like I told you guys in the Tarte glitter palette, this thing is so fragile. You have to be careful with the glitters in here. And they are actually really annoying to get off with makeup removers because the glitter gets everywhere. It's cute. Yeah. Thank you. We're not putting you back over there. Because you're being weird. I don't know. I don't want to put it over there now. But, like, the glitters in, I'm trying to think exactly what. Um, I think the Physician's Formula, I think those have glitters in them, right? No, they had metallics with glitter in it. Those don't count. God, that's not good, though. Um... The Wet n Wild um, Rock 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 Rockman. That's how you say it. His one palette has like these really pretty like glitter metallic colors in them, and they're really pretty. And then I don't know. I don't remember if I have like. I know I have glitters in. Oh, these palettes too. Hold on. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one has like the metallics, metallic glitters, and then the regular like kind of chunky glitters are in this one. So there's also those. I plan on doing like, I don't know, different things with those too, but I like this look though. This feels really... I love this look right now because, honestly, I just feel like, eh, today because of being on, um, period, uh, being on Sharp Week. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Hold on. I don't know. 
So this, like I said, it looks okay. And I dropped a tiny, tiny ring light. Oh yeah, um, Samantha, I think it was you who I told about the ring light. Um, this is the elf one, the mini one that you can clamp on your phone. And this is how bright it will get. Hold on. That's how bright it'll get. There's three settings on it. And it's like this, and it clips. And it's like, I think it's like $12. It's like $12 and something cents for this little mini ring light. So, but, um, anyway, this is the look for today. I guess I think it looks pretty. It definitely goes with the whole red theme today because today was a red theme for wave makers. So I'm going to go and like post this look, do some photos, that kind of thing. And then I don't know what else I'll do. I'll probably post on Instagram like I usually do. And I don't know. I might even do a few like TikTok things or something. But if you guys have any questions, stuff, let me know. Private message me. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Yep. And I will see you guys tomorrow for some more makeup. Bye.